Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your cloud desktop so that you can connect your cloud desktop with Power BI using Power BI modeling MCP so and I will also show you how you can do some modeling changes using the cloud desktop as well. So let's start the video. So the first thing that you need to do is you will have to install this Visual Studio code from this link. I'm going to provide all the links in the description and all the steps as well. So you can check it out from there. So you can download this Visual Studio code and install it on your computer. And then let's launch the Visual Studio. So we are here in the Visual Studio code. From here, let's go to this extension and let's download the Power BI MCP modeling server. So you can search from here. Let's say Power BI mcp server so it shows this one so i have already installed it so you can install it from here so once you are done with these two steps i can close this and next let's download this cloud desktop so this is the link from where you can download so let's download for windows i have windows you can choose your versions if you have mac os or windows so you can choose and download the file and install the cloud desktop on your computer i'm going to install it now so once you have installed the cloud desktop you can see it like this so if you choose your profile here and go to settings and go to this developer section so here it's giving us the option to add and manage the mcp servers if i click on edit config it takes us to a file called cloud desktop config i am going to open it with the notepad plus so I can see it showing like this. So we are going to add something here. So stay tuned. So before that, Twilab, I have some steps to follow. You can search this user profile or VS code extensions on your file explorer. So if I copy it here and click on enter, it will take us to this analysis services dot power bi modeling mcp. So this is a folder. So we'll have to go inside this folder and go to this server and you can see this by modeling mcp. So we'll have to copy this as a path. So let's copy as path. And so we have done the first and second step. So it says the same thing. Go to folder server and this copy this as path. So I already have it, but I'm going to copy paste it again. Next, we are going to go to the edit config in the cloud desktop settings and change the JSON profile. So we have this file open already. So let's copy this body here. So control A and control so we have this body here and in this command we'll have to paste the path that we have copied right now and replace this slash with double slash so we have this path here so let's copy this from here and let's paste it here i'm going to replace this single slash with double slash for that let's type control h and i'm going to find slash and replace it with double slash so replace all so i have replaced everything now let's click on ctrl s to save this file and now after you have saved it if i now click on edit config it is going to show this file if i open it now from here open with notepad plus plus now it shows the file that is having this body that we have saved now we don't have to do anything we just have to restart your computer so now I have restarted my machine. Now if I go to my profile and go to settings and go to the developer settings. Now if you see it's showing the Power BI modeling MCP configuration. Since the MCP server is running, we can go to the new chat. So I have a Power BI file open called AdventureWorks Sales Dataset and it has these many tables. So let me do one transformation and show you. So I'm gonna say connect to the open our i desktop file it says i have found the power bi desktop instance open this adventure works is data set and it has successfully connected to it it is also suggesting some operations on the semantic model like viewing and modifying tables columns measures relationships etc so i don't have any measure or measure table here let's ask to create so suggest some measures that we can create in this model so it's analyzing the model now. so it says perfect it has suggested some like core sales measures total sales total orders these profitability measure like the gross profit margin etc and then customer metrics time intelligence measures like sales ytd sales product analysis and it has suggested 21 measures so let's say create these measures inside our table called e mesh so it's starting the operation now so it's asking to allow some things so it has started to create all the measures in batches so it's asking to allow so i click on enter and it's again asking to create the profitability measures so i have to just click on enter and it's now creating the time intelligence measures let's click on refresh here 
to refresh now and if i see here see it has created these many measures and asking some more so click on enter so it's adding the measures so it's automatically adding and updating the measures here so it has created so many measures in seconds and it says excellent i have successfully created all 21 key measures in the new table called key measures here so see it has created the key measures table and it has created all the measures that are required here so let's ask to add all the measures in the folder so we'll add all these measures in appropriate folders so now it will add all the measures in the appropriate folders so let me try a different approach and update them individually so it's adding everything it has created for sales and profitability it's now creating for the time intelligence measures it has created for customer metrics so it has created folders for all the measures and it says perfect i have successfully organized all 21 measures into logical display fold so this is how we can connect the cloud desktop with power bi using the power bi modeling mcp server i hope you like my videos and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel till then goodbye and thanks for watching see you in the next video if you need my help and want to connect one-on-one -on -one with me you can book a call on TopMate. And if you want to buy Power BI reports along with dataset and BRD document, you can check out the products I have here. I have provided the links in the description. See you there. These are the books that I highly recommend buying that can take your Power BI skills to the next level. These three books can cover almost all the aspects of Power BI from DAX to Power Query to the overall Power BI dashboarding. You can find the link of these books in the description. Check them out if you want to level up faster. If you want to delegate tasks to me in Power BI and you need Power BI project support or you want to create a fully end-to-end -end project with me, you can reach out to me on Upwork. I have provided the Upwork link in the description of this video. Also, if you want to connect with me, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. All these links I have provided in the description. That was it for this video. See you in the next video.